Welcome to the latest update in the testing program of our Mahindra pickups. You'll notice that there's now two vehicles here in addition to our original S10 manual test vehicle, which many of you have been following for a couple of years now. And we've got our new S11 automatic. Now at this point in time, our white S10 has just uh, clocked over 90,000 kilometers. So I thought we'd do an update on that one. And our S11 pickup has just hit 10,000 Ks. So we'll do an update on that one. Now, we've just come off a rather rigorous torture test on Alba Beach, which saw us towing the J-Pod camper with the automatic on the beach and bogging the S10 for seven hours, which was uh, an interesting, uh, interesting little exercise to recover the S10 from a mud hole on the beach, but plenty of good footage that you'll see around that one. Now the update on the S10, since I last checked in with you, uh, the vehicle, like I said, is now done 90,000 Ks. At 85,000 Ks, the clutch in the car was getting a little bit tired. As you can see by the setup, it's pretty heavy. This car runs at factory GVM or above. I say above because we've had a 10% legal GVM upgrade on the car. So we're still within legal specs, but we're actually a lot of times when we're shooting and testing over the factory Mahindra recommended weights. So with all the off-road use that this vehicle has had and a couple of drivers that weren't quite as kind to it uh, and ran it in high range when it really should have been in low range. Our clutch was getting a bit tired at 85,000 Ks, so we put a uh, new one in it. And uh, we also had to do an overhaul on the rear uh, rear wheel cylinders. So, uh, so other than those two items, the clutch, which in my 26 years experience in the motor industry and how this vehicle's been used in comparison to many other makes uh, out there that I've been involved with, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's served pretty well considering the life that this car's had. The wheel cylinders were the only other thing that we've done since that time. So the next check-in on the S10 will be around 100,000 Ks. If you're thinking about a Mahindra, stay tuned if you want to see us to continue to test this vehicle because the intention with this S10 is we are just going to keep driving this thing and documenting any faults, repairs, any failures, anything for as long as we can. Now we turn to the uh, the Red Rocket, the S11 automatic. Now, many of you well know the very well publicized diff failure in this car from factories. 1500 kilometers, I had the rear diff fail. The only thing we can put it down to is a faulty component. There's, uh, there's nothing else that makes sense. Either the component was not quite assembled to spec or the materials were not quite to, to spec, but we had a diff failure at 1500 k's. Now, I always said from the very beginning of this testing program and any of you that have tuned in from the very beginning, that I would be brutally honest and frank with any of the things that we experienced with the car. And I can't get any more frank than a car at 1500 k's with a failed diff and there was plenty of photos on social media about uh, about that vehicle so to Mahindra's credit they came to the party straight away replaced the part the vehicle was off the road for a minimum amount of time and to my knowledge there has been no other failures of this type if you have one and you have had that type by all means comment on the video so that we can keep up to date with anything that's going on with the cars because i do have the opportunity to give feedback directly to mahindra and uh, i can talk to uh, talk to them directly and and give them the real world uh, feedback but since since our diff issue the vehicle has been completely faultless there hasn't been any kind of issues with it whatsoever the automatic is a very good transmission. It performs really, really well. It's economical for an automatic. It's got more than enough power for what this vehicle should have. I've done some light towing with the car and done some light off-roading with the vehicle, but haven't really tortured this one too much yet, apart from some long trips on some wet gravel roads and things like that. So nothing sort of too extreme. However, our little adventure yesterday on Alva Beach with the J-Pod on the back in the sand, really put this thing through its paces and uh, I must admit I thought uh, I thought it would it would struggle more than it did and it actually performed beyond my expectations so the vehicle performed really well on the beach uh, had more than enough power the automatic seemed to find the right gear no problem and uh, when we were running back from spending seven hours bogged with this fella 
we uh, decided that uh, we weren't going to hang around too long, so we were uh, powering up the beach because uh, we were racing the incoming tide. So uh, the entire beach run, the S11 was uh, pegged pretty hard with the camper on the back of it, and uh, we didn't have any overheating issues with the transmission. The vehicle didn't get hot. Once we exited the beach, we uh, let the vehicle idle for about 10 minutes because obviously it's been working extremely hard, and it's uh, a good thing to do that. But many vehicles in those conditions would not perform the same way. So uh, I'm very, very happy with it. So that's the check-in for the S11 at 10,000 Ks and our S10 at 90,000 Ks. So we'll continue to update everyone as the vehicles progress in age and kilometers. And if you have any questions, any feedback, or anything you'd like to know, by all means, comment, reach out to us, and we'll try and answer as much as we can. Thanks for following the journey so far, and I will uh, see you next time.